Hello and welcome to this exercise where we're going to try to put the text uh, output how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. And uh, I hope you've already tried this yourself. Uh, here I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. So we have a blank, uh, a blank page here. We're going to create a file new Java project and we need to name it something. So it's best to name your projects really without any spaces and try to use capital letters when you hit a new word. So I'm going to call this one uh, Lesson 7 because this, this was an exercise for Lesson 7, Exercise 1. So notice I really don't have any spaces here and I've capitalized the, uh, the new words. And so I'm going to go ahead and hit Finish. I'm going to accept the defaults here. And here we have our new Java project. Now we have to create the uh, the parent class that can, is going to contain our program. Every Java program is going to contain is going to be contained within a class. So we have to right click and go to New. Or with this highlighted, we could go to File New. Same thing. We want to create a new class. And here we're creating the class that's going to contain the main method. So notice that it's trying to put everything in the source folder under our the name of our project that we've created. And it's asking here for the name of our class. So my advice is just to name it, you know, something uh, something obvious. I like to try to have the project name the class, match the class name. So I'll call it Lesson 7 Exercise 1. You can disregard the warning that pops up at the top here. You can really name this parent class anything you want. You generally want to capitalize the first letter of every word in the class name except all of the defaults here. You also want to have the checkbox for public static void main string args. Basically you can uh, you, you can uh, type all that in yourself. It's just giving you the option of creating it automatically. And you want to leave everything in the default public here. We're, we're going to talk a whole lot more about public classes and what they mean but for now you're always going to be creating your, your main class as your public uh, class. So let's go ahead and hit finish and what we have now is a public class, Lesson 7, Lesson 7 Exercise 1, so it's created the class. Um, these are comments here. We'll talk a little bit more about comments later. They don't really affect anything. You can totally delete them. They're just a spot for you to type in some reminder notes to yourself for what you're doing. And as, again, we'll talk more about uh, comments a little bit later. So inside of the main method, notice this is our standard public static void main string args here. We have an open curly and a closed curly, so our program needs to go in between here. So we are going to output this text. So we need to use our system dot out dot prin, and notice it's trying to tell us that we have a print line there, or print line with a line return. It's trying to give us some options and filling in some things here. We want to type in our own thing here, so we're going to put a quote, and we're going to say how. Let's go ahead and capitalize it. How much wood could a wood chuck chuck? And that is the first line. Notice that in the exercise it split it up into two lines. So let's go ahead and put a semicolon there. That's why I had the little red underline. Go ahead and hit enter to bring it around to the new line. And now we need to output another system. Out print. Okay. And then we're going to go and say if a wood chuck could chuck wood. Put a question mark. Notice we have a red underline here. As you work in Eclipse, you're going to see that it's going to try, it's going to try to suggest things inside of functions and and and, and methods that you're calling. Um, and so it's trying to help you. If you find that that's getting in your way, just type right over it like we did here in this case. So what we've got here is an output statement to the system. Uh, it's printing with a line return. That's what the LN means. The line return means that after this text is printed on the screen, the cursor is going to return back to the beginning of the line. And here we have the second one here, if it would chuck, could chuck would. So this matches exactly what we had in our exercise. So let's go ahead and save this uh, project here. And we don't see any red flags. We don't see any underlined squiggly. So nothing obvious that the compiler is trying to throw up as an error. So to run it, we want to go ahead and click this Run button here, which will compile it and run it in the Java Virtual Machine. And then you can see down here in the console how much wood could a woodchuck chuck. If a woodchuck could chuck wood, notice it's on two separate lines exactly uh, as it was before. So we did not have to tell Java to put a line return at the end of this text because print LN automatically includes a line return uh, at the end. And that's how you do Lesson 7, Exercise 1. 